Hello, welcome back to Green Hill Gaming, where I share my passion of video games, including video game movies, with the whole wide world. In this live stream, I'm going to be giving my quick uh, 10 minutes um, um, opinion on the Super Mario Bros. movie. So sit back, relax, but as always, and more importantly, enjoy this short 10 minute video. And let me know in the comment section, more importantly, because I love interacting with my lovely viewers, let me know what you thought of the Super Mario Bros. movie. If you have seen it, or if you're planning on doing so, why haven't you seen it by now? <laughs> no, all joking aside, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Okay, let's get going. I actually already have this written down to make it easier. So, it was such a fun movie. I honestly cannot remember a movie so fun. I know it's kind of cringy reading this, but it just makes things easier. I love the Easter eggs of past Nintendo games. They showed, I didn't write this down, I'm going to add this. They showed Easter eggs of Punch Out. There's literally a fast food joint in Brooklyn, New York, which is where the Mario Bros grew up, uh, called uh, Punch Out pizza and there was um references to um wrecking crew there was references to there was even a picture of duck hunt um so many great easter eggs of past nintendo games and songs as well like the gamecube start up that was absolutely amazing there was even like a, a kind of like a reference slash easter egg i don't know what, what you would call this now but uh when they were in toad village and there was an antique shop and the toad behind the counter was like some other toad asks them does this work and the guy behind the counter was like oh it's fine you're just gonna blow into it referring to uh nez and snez and n64 cartridges you know back in the old days if your game didn't work and take it out and blow into it and magically your game would work that was really cool the references to the series including mario kart and donkey kong was so cool it was just absolutely amazing so much fun fun is the main word to describe this movie when i saw the cat suit from 3d world and king bomb from 64 i smiled it had music from the games too including Donkey Kong, Rap, and Peach's Castle team from 64. I got goosebumps. It had very funny moments as well. I'm going to just point... I didn't write this down, but I'm going to point... I'm just going to highlight three very funny moments in the game. There was a moment where Mario was trying to complete his obstacle course to prove himself to Princess Peach, which I'll get to also in a second. And it was just taken right out of the games. Like the platforming elements you know the um the triana plants were there all the different platforms mario just jumping around trying to avoid these obstacles it's what super mario bros is at the end of the day so it was perfectly um adapted onto the big screen but <laughs> he did multiple attempts failed every time and the movie was was making you believe that this was the one time where mario was going to complete this obstacle course uh, <laughs> But like, I think he got like a, a belt or something. I can't actually remember. He got a, he he got a belt or something anyway. Um, it might have been a Prianda plant just eating him up whole or something like that. But um, he didn't complete the obstacle course. But that was just so funny the way it happened. Like the music was building up. You as the the viewer, um, the audience thought that this was going to be the moment where Mario completed the obstacle course, and bang, he didn't. That was funny. There was also a moment where um, Mario fights. Donkey Kong, and he's looking for a power up, but he gets the he gets the, the the mini blue mushroom. He doesn't know what it is, and he's like, "Oh, this is going to be great." He confuses it with a regular super mushroom. Of course, he becomes Mini Mario, and it was just really, really a funny moment. And the other moment was where um, Bowser was planning on a uh, spoiler alert marrying 
been given this time job this while ago, sorry, was planning on marrying uh, Princess Peach, and he's practicing what he's going to say to her, and <laughs> he's practicing on a mirror, and he's like, "Will you marry me?" or something like that. Turns around and it's one of the, it's one of the, the it's one of the Koopas. Um, I forget their name, but it's one of the Koopas. It's just a really funny moment. But long story short, it's just a really, really funny moment in this movie. I would give the movie ten out of ten. I know that was a really like quick. Um, like I suppose I don't know mini review whatever you want to call it uh, but it's also more I want to add as well I mentioned Princess Peach I also really liked the direction that took Peach in like she's not a helpless damsel in distress anymore like she is in the games she is a leader fighter like she literally fights Bowser head on and independent um, she actually says to Mario like you know who are you you little Mario you know you know you know, who are you? You know, prove yourself. You know, because she's like well able to take on Bowser. She's ready to take on Bowser. But then Mario arrives and she's like, come on, Mario, prove yourself. You know, she's the leader. Um, she actually fights Bowser head on. Um, I like Luigi um, when he became brave at the end. Um, really, really brave. Um, because there's a nice, lovely little moment. Um, in the movie, where you get to see baby Mario and baby Peach, um, which is really cool. Again, another great reference to the to the series. Um, and the, <laughs> the main character from uh, Wrecking Crew, his name is actually Ralph, I think it's Ralph anyway, um, comes along, bullies Luigi, and Mario comes along to save the day. But at the end of the movie, again, spoiler alert, Luigi comes to the aid of Mario, and it was a nice moment where Mario, Luigi becomes brave. And Mario and Luigi have a family. <laughs> mm. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but it was a cool surprise nonetheless. You know, a lot of the times I'm used to criticizing um, video game adaptations, whether it's a movie or a series, where they go in completely wild directions and they change the character's um, direction and they, they add in stuff like, you know, Mario's got a family. I'm sorry. All I can say is, this time around, I didn't find it that negative maybe it's because mario is not a real kind of like it's not a serious game i don't know if that makes a difference but i watched the mario movie i didn't mind too much the fact that they changed peach i like the fact they changed peach personally um i didn't like the I, I didn't really mind seeing mario's family although it was a little bit strange all i can say is 10 out of 10 i never had so much fun watching a movie in my life and the great thing about this is this is made by nintendo and shigeru miyamoto was the creator of this movie, along with another guy, and obviously Illumination. Sorry, I can't remember his name, the other guy. And the great thing about Nintendo, the great thing about this is Nintendo always emphasize fun with their games, and that, that is the most important thing that was um, adapted to the big screen, was fun. It was a fun movie to watch, just like the video games are fun to play. Thank you so much for watching this mini video. Um, again, let me know what you think of the Super Mario Bros. movie if you've seen it in the comment section below. I'd be happy to interact with you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.